Angelica Oles is a YouTuber who specializes in talking about beauty community drama, which is why it was surprising when she tweeted out, maybe they should speed the whole Brexit shit up, because this isn't looking good. Bill Baines quote tweets this and says, Angelica Oles pro Brexit, poggers. And then Angelica ends up deleting the tweet. John Swan shows this on his Twitter and captions it by saying, lol, to which an Elica Joel's quote tweets him and says, I'm literally an immigrant. Also, if you look at any other Brexit related tweets on my account, I'm clearly against it. I'm also quite clearly joking in that tweet, but Twitter is too toxic to understand humor nowadays. John Swan ends up smiling at that tweet and then replies to it by saying, just thought the tweet delete was funny, lol. Never said anything about your views. Angelica Oles responds, so why post it in the first place? It's clearly taken out of context to make me look like I'm pro-Brexit. Anyone that comes across this will have that point of view of me. Twitter is shit, and here's the reason why. John Swan responds, I don't care if you're pro-Brexit or not, lol. I have zero stake in it whatsoever. I'm Australian. I literally found it funny how the tweet got deleted after Bill's quote. Angelica responds, Okay, so why post it? If you put a tweet on your platform that paints me as a pro-Brexit person, doesn't matter if you care or not. That's the implication you are making, and for what reason? John Swan responds, I told you why. I found it funny how the tweet got deleted after Bill, a complete nobody, quoted it. There was no other reason. I'm not political. I never make tweets about politics. This was not an exception. I don't care if you support Brexit or not. It isn't relevant. Angelica responds, I don't care if you're political or not. I deleted it because people were taking it out of context. You posted it without context implying that I'm pro-Brexit and therefore against immigrants. Anyone who comes across that will think I'm a piece of shit. John Swan responds, first off, I didn't imply anything, especially not about your position in regards to immigrants. Where did I mention that at all? I literally captioned the tweet with LOL. You can clearly see the progression of the screenshots was about you deleting the tweet, not about your views. Angelica responds, are you playing dumb on purpose? You posted a tweet of me saying I want Brexit to happen sooner, getting called out and deleting it. That's an implication of me being pro-Brexit to anyone who doesn't know me. I think this is simple to understand. John Swan responds, I'm really trying hard not to be a dick here, but I don't think anyone from my fanbase cares about your position on Brexit, laughing my ass off. Like, at all. Angelica responds, I don't care what your fanbase cares about. You posted an out of context political opinion on your very public platform. As a YouTuber, you should think twice about what you post about others. I've had false information spread about me for two weeks. I won't have another rumor made about me. John Swan responds, understandable, have great, and then posts a video with the caption, Angelica Oles spreading false information about James Charles for 1 minute and 54 seconds. I was hoping last video was going to be my last video about James Charles because frankly, I'm sick and tired. I feel like I've said that before. And obviously the last probably main point is that he is a predator. Now it's been confirmed. I'm not trying to get sued once again, but Tati did say you were a predator. So I don't know. I'm going to believe my queen Tati, you know. Allegedly, James Charles is constantly pursuing straight boys, uh, which we've been new. As you know, James Charles really likes escape rooms and Tati said sexuality is not an escape room that you can crack. And wow, she snapped. She came for his throat. I'm living. <laughs> James has now dipped below 16 million. I'm just, you know, gonna put this out there. Congrats, James Charles, on 15 million subscribers. Um, only up from here, huh? In about 24 hours, he has lost a million subscribers. Now, I wish I even had like a million subscribers to lose. So if those million subscribers wanna come over my way, I don't really make makeup videos. At this point, I am sick and tired of hearing about James Charles. I don't want to see his face anymore. I don't want to hear his name for at least a month before I can go and check up on him and see how he's doing with his new shade called Social Blade. It's this beautiful new red shade. It's available now for sale so go and get it while stocks last and use code cancelled for 10% off. Talking about shades and palettes, I don't know what to do with this. I can't even bear to look at it because it's got his name on it and I'm just like I've just had enough. I think overall I'm glad this happened. I'm glad he got called out because hopefully now he'll fix up his act because he knows he can't get away with it anymore. And that's kind of where I want to end this on. That's my opinion. I think he deserved it and it was coming to him and karma catches up with you sooner or later. I think some people think they're invincible because they're rich and famous or whatever it is. And I think at the end of the day, karma will catch you and she will bite you in the ass. And that's probably something you'd enjoy, so. That's me signing out. John Swan then points out that the video was still fully monetized. He then says she also made an update taking zero responsibility for spreading misinformation, showing yet another clip from her channel. So, I didn't think I would do this, but then shit hit the fan, took a 180 twist once again, and um, I don't want my channel 
well, my last video on my channel about the situation to be kind of factually, not factually incorrect. It, it was based on facts that were provided, but that's not what the facts are now. So I feel like I need an update uh, so that people don't get the wrong idea. John Swan follows this up by saying, the fact that I'm Alex had a better response here genuinely shocks me. At the end of the day, I want to apologize to James because of the fact that I do not believe that he is a sexual predator. I do not believe that he is sitting there in the bushes preying on straight men. I think that you could see based on most of the people who come forward now that if you do actually have the whole DM conversation, most people are either leading him on or they said no and then he stopped. And just to condense this into one last thing, don't trust Jeffree Star. Don't trust him as far as you could throw him. The guy is deleting as much stuff as you could possibly find on him. He's not addressing anything. He keeps on saying he's the truth purveyor, but he's quite clearly not. The man's got a history, and as much as we seem to have ignored that, I do believe that his vile history backs up his current vile presence. It doesn't seem like he's actually learned or changed. And at the end of the day, they're adults, and James Charles is 19. Yes, a very advanced 19-year-old. But they are the ones who are playing this like a petty playground game. Either come out with whatever it is that you've got, because hiding it is disgraceful, in my opinion, or shut up. Q Star quote tweets John Swan showing the Angelica Oles clip and says, How do you leave this video up and monetized? James is a predator because a person I like said so. Obviously my quote is a paraphrase, but it's almost verbatim. Because Queen Taddy said. Lieutenant Cobra responds to John Swan by saying, It was based on facts at the time, but they're not facts anymore? What? BWC responds, She was also studying law, so thank god she dropped out, lol. Spidge responds, Excuse me your honor, the fact that my client stabbed a man three times is not facts anymore. John Swan then shows a tweet from Angelica that says, So James Charles hates all drama channels and wants them deleted. But the main reason why he is where he is, is drama. Jump off your high horse. You are worse than all of us combined. He then shows another tweet from Angelica that says, I'm so fucking rich off this James Charles beef. Probably made more than all your parents. John Swan comments on this by saying, Angelica, no! Angelica quote tweets her old tweet and comments on it by saying, Since some geniuses are bringing this up as an argument, let me spell it out. The emojis in this would insinuate to anyone with five brain cells that this is sarcasm and irony and a joke. Wow, I love the stupidity on Twitter. John Swan continues to talk about Angelica when he tweets out, Better add another 52 seconds to that. Also, don't spread false allegations? Isn't that what she's doing in this video? Lol. Uh, this video is going to be a little more serious. I know recently, like I like, I don't know, just making fun of James Charles losing 2 million subscribers because I think one, it's kind of warranted. You know, you're a predator, you're going to lose subscribers. Allegedly, throwing that out there. I don't want to get fucking sued. I've realized that with him losing, you know, almost 3 million subscribers, going from 16.5 million to now 13 point something there's that there's unsubscribing there's not being a fan of someone anymore and then there's putting out their false allegations knowing you're going to get attention for it and knowing it can ruin someone's life further than just losing 3 million subs let's keep it to just unsubscribing unfollowing spreading actual real stories and not spreading false allegations but before you get the tea maybe you want to i don't know learn how to do things because this video is actually sponsored by- Rejected Galileo responds to John by saying, Who is this guy? Get some more likes, buddy. John Swan quote tweets him and says, It's not about likes, it's about sending a message. Pimpin Pete tweets out, When it's time to call someone a predator using facts at the time. Showing a picture of a very happy Angelica Owls. BWC shows that he got blocked by Angelica on Twitter and captions it by saying, A commentary channel that cannot take criticism. John Swan quote tweets him and says, The head are laughing my ass off. Showing the irony of Angelica Oles having Jeffree Star blocking her as her banner while also blocking other people. John Swan then shows that he got blocked and says, Literally cannot take criticism. And then he makes the image his banner. Pimpin Pete responds to John by showing a tweet that Angelica Oles just liked, saying, Why is getting blocked such a big deal to everyone? Laughing my ass off, get a life. And then showing that Angelica has Jeffree Star's block in her banner. Raggedy Dan tweets out, The irony of having your banner showing off the fact that someone has 
has blocked you, yet you go around blocking anyone that rightly criticizes you. Not a good look, Ange. P.S. Those big commentary channels that you think like you, they don't. Angelica responds, Oh my god, commentary channels don't like me? However will I live? This is so shocking and devastating. I have three to five business days to recover from this. Janet responds to Angelica Oles with this Twitter video. Now, in the 2016 referendum, did you vote for or against Brexit? I voted for Brexit. Do you have any issues with immigration whatsoever? No. Why did you vote to leave the EU? Because the other member states were having too much say in our home affairs, our judicial system, our laws. So you wanted sovereignty over your own country, like democracy within the country? Definitely. Okay. Angelica says that if you voted for Brexit, you are, quote unquote, a piece of shit. What do you have to say to Angelica? Whoa. <laughs> They're pretty strong words, Angelica. Um... I don't know, you, you're entitled to your own point of view, but uh, calling people a piece of shit isn't really on, is it? It's not fair. If Angelica walked up to you in the street right now and she called you a piece of shit, what would your oh, response be? I'd kick her into the middle of the next week. <laughs> you can leave that in. Angelica Oles then deactivates her account out of fear of Janet. Well, just kidding, it's not because of that specifically. She did deactivate her account, but before we get to that, let's just go back to the tweets that were made before that happened. John Swan says, What shocks me the most about this Angelica stuff is how much I have been able to dig up. If there are anywhere near this many things to find in your backlog as a commentary channel, then you are literally so shit at your job, lol. Angelica Oles then tweets out, I guess I'll fix my mental health in 2022. Cordwit responds to her by saying, Might I clarify that regardless of what you've done, if your mental health is in a detrimental position, I can say on behalf of everyone you should do your best to improve it. Though likewise, on behalf of everyone, I think it's best you reconsider how you create content. And rather than blindly following accusations and doubling down, I suggest you make an effort to apologize for your mistakes. Because everyone makes mistakes at the end of the day. It's just far more respectable if you are able to admit your faults and take criticism. Harassment and forceful backlash is not justified. But if you keep using mental health to move away from the point people are making against you, it won't look good on your end. Angelica responds to Cordwit by saying, I cover topics everyone else does. Where necessary, I make adjustments in future videos. I have also never referred to Perez Hilton as a child predator groomer, etc. Your friends pick a victim of the month and harass them while calling it criticism. Let's focus on that first. At the time, everyone thought James was guilty. I wasn't even the main person pushing this agenda. I thought clips of him were concerning, but that's it. Since then, I have defended him, and if he wants a personal apology, I can definitely message him with one. But let's not act like what was at the time, a 300k sub channel, did more damage than the original video with 60 million views. Everyone reported on what was said. I don't understand why this is a meme issue. Cordwit responds, this isn't a you issue, but it is an issue that you were slash are a part of and that you need to focus on for certain. This is why the commentary community was so heavily against Alex. The same reason as you. I'm just ashamed to admit that this isn't the only fault you've made. I'm happy to help you improve if you want. My DMs are open so we can discuss. That's why I made a 48 minute video on T-channels, because I want your lot to do better and genuinely want to help out. Lou Luminal responds to Cordwit by saying, in before block, to which Cordwit responds, to her credit, I got the opposite. I got a follow in what appears to be the beginning of a healthy conversation, actually. Angelica Oles responds, What a surprising turn of events. I'm hooked. Nicholas Diorio responds to Angelica's responses to Cordwit by saying, I mean, I'm Alex would counter this by mentioning he's been bashed relentlessly for making arguably lighter takes than you in regards to falsely accusing James Charles. You are just flagrantly unapologetic about it, and therefore significantly more problematic. As for the you and your friends pick a victim of the month bullshit, you've never been good at what you do. Your research has always been piss poor, and your channel is based on talking about others. You've been the butt of the joke for a year, not a month. Lol. I wonder if it's your community you reside in, or the fact that these takes are coming from an attractive blonde girl. If I posted this kind of content to my main channel and doubled down like this, I'd be crucified. I'm just blown away that I got ad hommed as a harasser after someone posted a video of Angelica saying James Charles is a predator because Taddy said so, which is still public and monetized, lol. Like you talk about other people. What the fuck, lol. Your content is literally shitting on people for having like COVID parties. I get the drama is toxic garbage when it comes from someone who is on Twitter. 
Twitch. Or like makes gaming content, but a literal drama channel calling other drama channels harassers is like a 3 IQ move. Nuclear. A couple hours after all these tweets were made, Angelica then deactivated her Twitter, and Nicholas Diorio comments on this by saying, Angelica Oles deactivated her Twitter because Bill Baines memed her. No doubt she is off to her drama YouTube channel to release a video saying she's been harassed, despite the fact that she reports incorrect information on other YouTubers for money herself. And that's about it for the drama on Twitter with Angelica Oles. Pretty crazy that this one meme tweet ended up causing Angelica to deactivate her Twitter, but there's no doubt in my mind that she will come back to Twitter within the next couple days and talk about this drama a little more. And when that happens, I will be here to report on it. So be sure to subscribe to this channel with notifications on if you don't want to miss that. I'd also like to give a very special thanks to my channel members, in particular Scrubby who decided to donate $100 a month. That is absolutely insane. Thank you so much, dude. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video.